To level up, you have to leverage your strengths. It's, it's so important to focus on your strengths. And that's what self-awareness is all about, is number one, being aware of what they are. Like, what are my strengths? What are those things that I'm gifted at? What are those things that I do best? What are those things that I do better than others? What I realized is it was more about figuring out what my gifts were, going all in on those gifts. And I truly believe that that will turn into the passion. That if you're going all in on the things that you're truly gifted at, you will become passionate about that process. The other side of that coin is you'll get to know your weaknesses. You'll get to know those areas that aren't your strengths. You'll get to know those areas that you struggle with. You have to figure out what's blocking our capacity. Because we all have capacity, mental capacity. We all have, you call it capacity, you might as well call it potential. And the reality is, the majority of the world, the majority of us, are operating at 30, 40 percent of our capacity. And so why is that? Uh, it's all these things that we're allowing into our life to distract us, to... Uh, it's the, these things that we continue to let cause that chaos like we talked about. The key is to create an environment that enables you to leverage your strengths, to create an environment that enables you to capitalize on your gifts. And an environment that doesn't give you even the time or space to dwell on your weaknesses because it eliminates them. That was my focus for last year, was really creating an infrastructure that I could do what I feel like I was born to do, that I was gifted to do, uh, as much as possible. That the majority of my day was spent doing what I felt I was gifted at and what I felt was my strengths. It may come disguised in a lot of different ways. Like, I'm in the insurance business. Am I passionate about insurance? Absolutely not. Not, nothing about insurance, you know, excites me or, right. or makes me, you know, tick. But being able to coach and lead and train other people, give them an opportunity, yeah. give them a vehicle that can get them to where they want to go and give them the opportunity to become the best versions of themselves, like that's what I'm about. Insurance just happens to be the disguise that my purpose yeah. or what I'm supposed to do is, is wearing. If you took an audit of your day today, how much time and a percentage, what percentage of your time do you feel you were operating out of your strengths? And what percentage of time were you just going through the motions and doing things that, that just had to be done? And I say had to be done loosely, had to be done because that's the environment that you created, not had to be done in the long-term scheme of leveling up. So what do you do best? Do that more and more and more and more and fill your days with more of that. <laughs>